Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how a flex computer looks like and what are the options or what are the controls which are available uh, in Wartzilla Soldier engine. So guys, this is how a flex uh, monitor looks like. This one is the old engine with old uh, laptop, but to view in a bigger display, we have attached a monitor. So this is how a flex computer looks like and then we'll go inside the screen and we'll see what are the options and how we see all our parameters you can see here this is written flex view so this is the flex view software and on top you can see this these are the option indication indication overview exhaust injection user adjust sw info analog output ecr mcp local mcp and gimo all these options are available you can click on this options using your mouse and then you can go to that uh, parameter or the display so in this indication you can see miss uh, this is the estimated power fuel command versus the rpm this is the percentage of fuel command versus rpm this is the parameter which is showing here here you can see the engine rpm fuel command you can see the parameters scavenge air pressure you can see here two sensors are there fuel oil fuel oil rail rail pressure you can see here with both the sensors and control or pressure you can see here sub oil pressure injection timing parameter nozzle injection exhaust wall auto download is active or not below you can see here are the categories you can see here these are single single category WECS passive failure, WECS common failure, pressure failure, cylinder failure, critical failure. So all these failures, once a, any alarm is uh, triggered, it will go to some of these category. Like if there is a failure with uh, uh, like a normal a low failure, it will go to the passive failure. If there is any cylinder failure, it will go to this category and accordingly the color will also change so alarms will be shown here you can see here appearing time is also there and the restoring time okay so we'll go one by one to these options and we'll see what are displayed in these options so we'll see so guys once you click on overview you can see the performance option is there maneuvering order engine is running in ahead currently rail pressure you can see here mean value control oil pressure servo oil pressure injection and exhaust conditions you can see here pump control like which control oil pump is running number one is running number two is off and what is the failure available currently like passive failure is present right now you can see the color also this this oil oil pump so we are facing problem with the oil pump that's why this alarm is there and the alarm is still active that's why it is showing yes so all these things are available in overview we'll go to the exhaust option and we'll see in exhaust option you can see both the sensor open and close position these are stroke sensors which are fitted on uh, each unit so you can see seven cylinders are there so seven sensors are also installed uh, with uh, with two sets so for opening and closing these two sensors are playing the same role and that time you can see here open and close timing uh, in deep about the parameter and their detail we'll see in the next video these are the options which are available in exhaust no, next we'll go in injection and we'll see Once you click on injection, you can see the quantity piston return and injection of each cylinder. It is shown here. Okay. And you can see here injection begin time and the injection time, on time rail wall injection, on time rail wall return. All these parameters are shown on injection. Once you click on user option. In user option you can see VIT and FQS option is there control all pump main starting valve and heavy C mode you can change 
to on and off using your keyboard based on your weather condition injection cutoff timing is also there venting option is also there you can also vent it manually we will see in later video how to do it exhaust wall commands fuel pump actuator piston test you can also do the testing of fuel pump actuator using these options so all these warnings are also there so these are things which are available in user next we will go in so these are the options slow turning also option is also there auxiliary blower with the scavenge pressure you can see the very important parameter which is crank angle that is also shown here sub oil pump power and current that is also shown here exhaust wall closing offset injection offset injection correction factor these are also shown here so all these parameters are shown in adjust option now we'll go to sw info so guys in this image you can see ecr mcp option from using this uh, using this button these are these buttons looks like a physical button but you can click using your mouse and you can start the engine stop it and you can give ahead and stun and you can also transfer the controls so these buttons looks like physical but they are not physical they are available on screen and using these buttons you can control the engine same you can see here this is a local mcp i've shown you before the ecr mcp this is the local which is present in the maneuvering platform same thing is there it's just the control so guys on this image you can see uh, these are the message for alarm or any uh, failure which is available in your main engine so you can double click on this and a troubleshoot option will be available like this is the appearing time of this alarm and this is the restoring time these alarms are restored but this one are not restored once you double click here it will guide you that uh, you can go and check the particular you can go and check that particular uh, like in this image you can see once you click on this uh, like alarm is there and once you click here these these options will be shown here so these are like troubleshoot guide for you and it help you a lot like 99% times these are going to solve your problems so always uh, double click here and check that what messages pop up here it says like cylinder fill it says like exhaust wall does not open and close at wcs set point so all these things you have to check and 99% times you are going to rectify the problem so always check the message and the troubleshoot guide which is available in your flex I will show you one more image where you will get an idea how it looks. So this image also you can see a main engine exhaust wall late closing or not closing. So all these options like check on time, check that the cable condition are good, check air pressure, check non-return wall, check in internal checks of VCU, piston of exhaust wall. So all these points you can check and I'm sure that you are going to rectify those problem this is how your uh, power supply unit for your fcm looks like uh, these are uh, these are the two power supply unit like one is coming from uh, msb and one must be coming from your esb so these are for your fcm individual fcms now this is how your fcm look like this is your fcm fc right now these are running they are having the lights indications using this light indication it is going to guide you that what is the condition of current fcm if there is any alarm or any failure there is these lights are going to indicate you and based on that you are going to troubleshoot it so this is how the cables are attached with these plugs okay you have to make sure that there is no oil present over here and the connections are intact to make your uh, engine run smoothly otherwise in maneuvering condition also you can face multiple problems as i have told you these are the lights which are going to guide you to solve the problems if you are going to face any problem Be, uh, 
I will make a separate video explaining about the FCM and I will open this also and I will show you what is there inside. So do follow it to watch the upcoming videos. So these you can see these are the indications. This is how the box of FCM looks like from outside you have to open this and then you have to work on it. These are stroke sensors. I have faced a multiple problem with my stroke sensors. I have made a video to troubleshoot uh, these how to troubleshoot these uh, stroke sensors. If you have not seen that video you can check the i button link is available there. So guys this is the FCM. I have already recorded the video I just need to upload it. Uh, I will open this and I will show you in my upcoming videos. So guys I hope uh, you get to know how the flex computer looks like and what are the options which are available here. Uh, even using your flex computer you, uh, our second engine used to take the performance and you can even change the different modes or different parameters. But uh, it is always recommended that uh, until and unless your technician visit is not there or the office is not suggesting you, you should not change any parameter. So guys, I will see you in the next video with other components. Uh, till then, take care. Bye-bye.